Lisa and welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why small thoughts? Well, small thoughts can help lead to big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts that come along. And they often do, don't they? So welcome, welcome, welcome to my puzzle room, my puzzle channel. This is a little corner in the spot of my house I'd like to come in and have small thoughts. Mostly with my small thoughts, I like to do puzzles. And I thought I'd come on and do a quick puzzle review for you. I just finished my favorite, I always say that, but this really was my favorite, favorite Halloween puzzle. I mentioned it in my, excuse me, mentioned it in my Halloween um, and fall and autumn videos that I did early on, do links before, but I thought I'd do a bit more in-depth review. But first, I'm going to grab a quick drink and I invite you to grab a drink of your choice. I'm going to have some decaffeinated Earl Grey tea today and I frown because I wish it was caffeinated. So just going to have a sip of my decaf tea. Give me a sec. Very good. And off we go. So this is the very, very, very beautiful, adorable, charming Halloween Buddies puzzle by Cobble Hill. And indeed it is. Look how charming the illustration is on that. You can see the really adorable trick-or-treaters there the princess, the pirate, the cute little dog that's down there following, traipsing behind, a little cow person, football player, a witch, and kind of a little spooky ghost. I saw a lot of those spooky ghosts over the weekend, uh, this Halloween, and it was so fun to see the kids out uh, and be able to give them treats this, this Halloween. So I absolutely loved this puzzle. I love everything about it. Don't be a little bit alarmed by all the gray. There's lots of interesting textures and in brick. The puzzle's got lots of cute little, of course, pumpkins. I don't think I've done a puzzle since July that didn't have a pumpkin in it. So pumpkins and leaves and spooky little cats and bats and a hanging uh, skeleton there that's kind of cool and I believe this looking at this this must have been done in acrylics um, if you know it's been done differently let me know but I'm looking in I think it's been done in acrylics uh, absolutely adorable charming puzzle to do every year perfect gift it's a 500 piece puzzle so the average person takes two to three hours so I will double that for me it probably took me five to six hours but I enjoyed every minute of it I put my um, puzzle table up and we watched a few Halloween and scary movies while I puzzled away love to hear if you have any movies you listen to while you do your Halloween puzzles or if you have a favorite Halloween puzzle or artist you like to do so a little bit about Cobble Hill always comes with the really beautiful reference poster super sturdy made of a fairly thick linen mats um, poster the finished poster size for uh, the Cobble Hill 500 and the 1000 is 18 by 24 so it'll fit most standard puzzle boards and easel it's a great size the puzzle pieces of Cobble Hill are random cut a random cut means they've got a little bit more interesting piece cuts. They're a little bit more, see that, kind of cool shapes. There's another one and another one. So not your standard grid. And some of them are even really funny shapes. So it can be a little bit more challenging and fun to do. Um, and also can sometimes make it easier because you, when you see a piece that looks alike, you can go by the shape too much like the same color. So a little bit about Douglas Laird, the artist. So this is Douglas Laird. And he's the art, the, the wonderful artist who did this illustration. Douglas Laird is from Edinburgh, Scotland, and he was born in 1946. So that would make him, I guess, in his mid 80s. And how wonderful he is producing such beautiful art for us all to enjoy. And he tends to do the more nostalgic nature scenes. He emigrated to Canada in the 1960s and now lives just outside of Toronto, where he does a lot of beautiful paintings for mostly puzzles and I've mostly if not always seen him do Cobble Hill if you've seen him do somewhere else let me know I'm happy to correct myself so he does a lot of his um a lot of his artwork is featured on Cobble Hill and boy are we lucky to have him Cobble Hill outstanding outstanding puzzle quality if you're not familiar very similar to a Ravensburg 
thickness and snap. They invest a lot of, um, I think, a time and attention into the quality of their pigments and the inks and the reproduction of the images that they put on their puzzle pieces. And not only do they have the great images that leap out at you when that puzzle is done, but the puzzle pieces are at a really good, thick, uh, sturdy quality, which makes for a satisfying snap and a wonderful overall puzzle experience. You will not be disappointed at all with a cobble hill puzzle. This one's 500 pieces, like I mentioned, and I've got a couple other of Douglas Laird puzzles I'd like to share with you as well. So I'm just going to put this down for a sec and you're going to be, I think, a bit surprised at, to, to see what other artwork he does. This is one called Take Off. And I almost put that in my fall puzzles, but I thought, you know, that's kind of a spring. But look how beautiful and stunning that is with a gorgeous, gorgeous, I believe, hawk. Correct me if I'm wrong. It could be an eagle. It's late in the day. <laughs> and I'm drinking decaffeinated tea. So this is beautiful. Look at the color palette on that one. He's a, a beautiful spring palette. And I just love the way he does his textures. You can just see the uh, the ripple of the feathers in the air and the almost smell of the fragrant uh, wildflowers coming off the hill. And you see there the mountainous hill. Now just to show you how versatile and wonderful this artist is, he's gone from this beautiful cute nostalgic Halloween puzzle to this and then um, this one which I didn't even know was a Douglas Laird puzzle I was so surprised uh, Red Canoe and indeed that one is too of course a beautiful uh, Canadian Canadian uh, scene with the Red Canoe and you can see the fall foliage off in the back kind of reminiscent of uh, I want to say group of hair, group of five Lawrence Harris, could be wrong, but uh, well done. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful artwork. So lucky and grateful to have this artwork come, come to life on our puzzles. I'm happy uh, that I was able to share these with you today, and I would love to hear from you. Do you have a favorite puzzle artist that you'd like to share with me? Do you have a favorite puzzle you like to do each Halloween? Do you have a puzzle you'd like to share with me that you think I want to do over Christmas? I would love to hear from you. You can message me on Instagram at smaller underscore thoughts. You can visit my website at smallthoughts.ca or please, please, please leave a comment here in the YouTube section. I will be happy to reply to my all my commenters, all three of you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you taking time to visit my Small Thoughts channel. And until next time, I'm wishing you lots and lots of small thoughts. Bye for now.